It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Kaiju Beer and it's a can of their Cthulhu Black IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. That looks absolutely terrific, doesn't it? Love, love the branding from, from Kaiju Beer. Doing some great stuff. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, it looks really good. Really good looking beer. Two finger, tan colored head. More or less a jet black beer in the glass. You can see a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass there. But other than that, jet black with good carbonation. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to say a massive thank you to our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, for providing the beer for sponsoring today's episode. Um, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all around the world. Just take this one, for example, from Australia. Uh, if you want to check out Beers of Europe, check out the link in the description box of the video. Pardon me, on we go with the beer review. Aroma. There's a certain aspect of roasted malt, but you're going to get that. It's a black IPA, there is roasted malt in the beer. It's a little toasty, a little roasty. But then there's that kind of menacing hop aroma underneath all of that. If you try and separate, because of course it's giving off one aroma. And that one aroma is a mixture of roasted malt and then the hops. If, you, if in your mind you can separate, it's a difficult thing to do, but I'm sure you can do it. Separate that roasted malt, try and take that flavor away and put it, pack it over there somewhere. And then, and then just think about the hops in the beer and they come through, they really do. Tropical orange peel. Some grapefruit. Smells good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, what a mouthfeel. First and foremost, what a mouthfeel, but then, yeah, everything's coming together now and bursting on my palate. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what another great beer from Australia. It's got a lovely velvety, creamy, rich mouthfeel to begin with. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. This, this caramel, there's some dark, bitter chocolate, black chocolate, dark chocolate, should I say, and some roasted coffee bean flavours in here. Let's, let's pack that, let's pack the black part of the black IPA over there for a moment and let's, and let's attack the hops. Let's get into the hops. <sighs> Tricky thing to do, but there's some orange peel, some fleshy blood orange, there's some grapefruit coming through, a touch of pineapple, there's a tartness coming through, but then if you if you want to squeeze all that back together, if if it's a difficult thing to do, is 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 taking flavours and putting them in different parts of your brain and dissecting the beer. This is what I'm doing. I'm dissecting the beer. If you can, if you can't do that for whatever reason, um, maybe you're new to beer, maybe you've 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 never been that interested to be able to to pull the flavours around, but. If you just want to take it as, as, as a mixture of flavours, then I would say chocolate, coffee, caramel, followed by plum, fig, prune, raisin, spiciness, pepperiness, that sort of thing. And that's a, that's a massive kind of 
forcing together of all the different flavors in the beer and stick it in the washing machine and mixing it round and bang that's what you're getting but it's very good I like the mouthfeel I really do it's lovely and rich creamy and dense some caramel from the malt coming through as well Cthulhu the beer on the moon sucks ask Cthulhu he knows the gravity is too low partial to an oxymoron when he's thirsty he always reaches for a kaiju black IPA and destroys it there we go that is terrific it really is a terrific beer and um, I think that might be the core range reviewed now by Kaiju Beer. Um, if you're a fan of Kaiju Beer, if you've been drinking, maybe they're hopped up, maybe they're crush, uh, maybe they're, they're, they're double IPA. All of them beers are reviewed on our channel. So have a look in our upload section of the videos um, for, for, for the rest of the Kaiju Beers range. And I've been reviewing an awful lot of beer from Australia. Uh, so just search Australian craft beer either in the YouTube search bar above or in my uploads on the side here. Have a look and, 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 and find some of the beers we've been reviewing from Australia. Rating for this beer, I think it's really good. I think it's a really good example of a black IPA. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.